Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Lead Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Remember last time there was that message about checking like a um an iron river or something? Well, it kinda got me thinking that we know of an iron river, so might as well go check it out. But we also got the red key card, so let's go ahead and use that. See what we got up over here. Oh, huh, sleep too. Kinda nice. Oh. <laughs> Looks like there's a door up there, and yeah, that big ol' um, boss from first chapter is still down here. So, hmm, huh, it's kind of strange. Another thing, it's almost like deja vu in here. In second chapter, we had to fight Grant and um, some other people that I'm not gonna spoil. But anyway, check the Iron River, and hey, get tons of Sepeth. Awesome! So with all that being done, let's head back to... Um, the first monument on this first floor. And as usual, you know, I told you we got the red key card. Now we can open up red key card doors, but also be on the lookout for other key card doors. We've seen green so far, as well as blue. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I went ahead and I made the little, like, handwritten map. So there's a blue door, and over here there's a green door. So, yeah. Anyway, what I want to do is head over here and get some more treasure! Oh. <laughs> Don't you mean your princess is in another castle? Or that's something else. So basically, in here, what you want to do is go around and examine everything you possibly can. Um, because little things are going to have Sepeth all over the place. Like this bed right here. Yeah, even more Sepeth. Nice! always, always be on the lookout for uh, little things like that. And these messages that you'll see in Mirror Image will tell you where all that Sepeth is. Um, that kind of occurred to me whenever I was like, Iron River? What is going on here? So, yeah. We have a little box maze in here, but thankfully, we don't have to use any sort of, um, I don't know, night vision goggles or anything, so that's kind of nice. we will get a Mirage Gem. That's basically a hit five gem. So, yeah, if your accuracy is kind of low, you might want to equip that, but again, you'll need three slots in order to activate it, so I'm not too worried about that. If I happen to have, like, a ton of extra leftover, um, Sepeth, then yeah, I'll do that, but, I mean, for the most part, it's totally not worth it. Oh! Hey, Karna! Hey, how are you doing? Oh, well, yeah... Oh, why is that? Whoa! Uh-oh! Yikes! Same sort of thing! Wow, this happened in the second chapter, too. This really is like some ultimate deja vu. Oh. Come at me, bro! Or sis, in this case. But yeah, we're totally gonna kick her ass. So yeah, just go on after her. We're gonna be doing the same strategy this time as we did last time. Can I actually get to her? Oh, might as well go on up there. Uh, basically, we're going to be whirlwind dancing all these people um, all together, and then blasting the ever-loving daylights out of them, where Julia is going to be using Titanic Roar over and over and over again, because it's just, you know, the most efficient attack that I have on her right now. Oh, did that impede her? Oh, that sucks. Seriously? Oh, come on. Okay, so go ahead and use another one. Um, at least she gets, you know, an extra attack out of it, or, you know, a, a quicker attack. Oh. So that is nice, you know, if you get impeded, you get your attack just a little bit sooner. That's always nice. Can you use your whirlwind dance? Don't I really have to, like, move you? I really don't want to have to move you. Oh, I do. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, so yeah, let's move her kind of more toward the center, down here-ish, I would imagine would be... Fine. Uh, oh, you can still only attack that one over there. Your range sucks, Josette. Ugh, you're just terrible. Wow, I should just stick her on support forever and just, like, forget that she even exists. She's just awful, but unfortunately, you do have to end up using her. Oh, these guys are pissing me off to no end. Okay, can I... Really? I still can't get them all? Seriously? Whatever. It's fine. 
we can get two out of the three. I really should have just moved her to the center on the first turn instead of trying to attack and, you know, hoping that everybody would come towards me, but that wasn't exactly the case. So now that uh, these two are together, we can go ahead and start attacking them, you know, attacking them together, efficiently just destroying them. Ooh, get a critical hit. Nice! Yeah, use an horrible bomb over here on these two. Considering that Josette's been attacking that one Jaeger on the right-hand side for quite some time, um, hopefully, I would imagine that this Titanic War should be able to take out both of these Jaegers. Oh! Hey! hey awesome! So yeah, this is totally the way to go against these guys. Yeah, they spread out, they're annoying, pull them together, kick their ass. The end. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah, I guess. You didn't use an S-Craft or anything like Philip did, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, you would think that they would have used an S-Craft or something, but no. I mean, if they gave Philip of all people an S-Craft, don't you think that they would have given Grant and Karna and all of them an S-Craft? I don't know. I mean, I would imagine so. I wonder who's still here? Who awaits us? Yeah, it's kind of obvious, considering we beat Grant and Karna last time in second chapter, whenever they were kind of mind-controlled by Ouroboros as well. Okay. Yeah, totally prepared. Well, let's see what we got going on over here. Inspect the open glass coffin, then you shall obtain radiance. Well, I already did that. already got my radiance. But we also get a green key card. So let's head on back. I probably should have used that monument to heal up, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think it's only on Lace who actually is um, hurt everybody else perfectly, perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and use our little green key card. See what we've got going on in here. Anything nice? Ooh, treasure! Well, Confused too, that gives you 20% chance of inflicting the Confused status whenever you use a craft or a physical hit or whoa, something along those lines. Let's see, I think that there's another green key card around here. Yeah, right here. Awesome. I mean, if there wasn't these green key cards, I would have just kind of met you back at the elevator since we already saw it, but, eh, it's not that long, and there's green key cards to see anyway. Oh, well that must be Renee. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, we got plenty of doors to go into, including that door there. And I'm going to be doing all these doors at the end of the chapter, just like I did last time. I just think it's better, it's cleaner, it's nicer just to kind of stick them all in one area. Okay. So, what awaits us on the third floor? I would imagine that at the end of the third floor, we'd probably get the blue key card. Because, yeah, we've got a blue key card entrance right over there. But first, let's come on down here, see what we can't find. Ooh, treasure! With a water gem. That's essentially an HP 5 quartz. It raises your HP by 15%. Go on out here and then check the right hand side of this mirror. To hey, get our radiance. Nice! Yeah, I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm kind of doing things a little tiny bit out of order, like I'm getting the radiance before the message tells me to, but who really cares? Like, honestly, like, is it really that big of a deal? Answer, no! If you go this way, you'll just get to a blue keycard door, and we can't do anything with that right now, so don't worry about it. Ooh, tasty medicine. Oh, um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to offend you, treasure chest. <laughs> okay, let's see, go on down here, avoid this guy, get some treasure! Oh. Um, you weren't even locked. We didn't even need, like, a treasure hunter or anything to get it. We just opened it. It was pretty damn easy. Oh, wow, another monument. Uh, nah, we're good. I'll do healing up off-screen. But who could be waiting for us behind this door? Oh, it's Kurt! Wow, I never thought it was gonna be Kurt! <laughs> oh, yeah, good to see you, too. Oh, yeah... Here and in second chapter. Man. Um, yeah? Kinda, sorta, maybe. Oh. Oh, really? I have 
tried meditation before to like calm down and everything and it doesn't really work for me like every single time that like i try to meditate my mind just kind of starts rushing and racing around and like and, and then I start thinking, you know, I could be doing so many other things right now. I'm kind of wasting time. And then I'm like, no, stop it, David. You need to just meditate. You have plenty of time to get everything done. Just focus. And like, I can't. And then I start freaking myself out. So meditation doesn't exactly work for me. However, yoga does. Mostly because I think I'm actually doing something with yoga. Rather than just kind of sitting there. I hate just sitting around. I don't even like watching movies because I can't stand just sitting there. Although I'll sit there and I'll watch, you know, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for hours on end. <laughs> oh. Um, if you say so, Kurt. Yikes! For boss time! Against Kurt himself. And, yeah, same old, same old. Go after Kurt for the most part. On Lace, let's move you to the middle. I could use Kevin's S-Craft, but, nah, we'll be fine. Uh, you just go ahead and attack that guy over there, because there's nothing else that you can do, because your range sucks! Uh, let's see. Have you use a Titanic Roar? Hopefully she doesn't get impeded again. Oh, wow. They're not really doing much of anything to me. They're actually just kind of doing exactly what I want them to do. Who knew? Kind of nice. They didn't do shit to me. Awesome! Okay, now let's get her to use her Whirlwind Dance, get them all together. It'd be nice if Whirlwind Dance dealt damage, but I understand why it doesn't. I mean, it's already kind of overpowered as... Well, it's not overpowered, but it is, I want to say, like the only skill in the game that can, um, you know, pull these enemies together, so then you can use all your other multi-targeting crafts and spells to just destroy these guys. Ooh, get a strength up. You know what? Actually, look at something. Since you have a strength up to this turn, let's go ahead and use a chain. Use a chain with Julio, use a chain with Palm Lace, and yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, well, yeah, attack all three with it. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's so good! That was amazing. How come we got to target all three of them? Normally we don't get to do that. Huh, it's kind of nice. Maybe it's like a Josette-only skill or something. I don't know. Because I did hear that Julia, whenever you use her with the chain, she gets to attack like multiple times. Like, she'll attack once, then somebody else will, then she'll attack, and then somebody else will, then she'll attack again. Like, she attacks, I guess, twice for every one of the person that attacks. So maybe Josette's little chain skill is to multi-target. That's kind of nice to know. Kind of makes her a whole hell of a lot better in my eyes, too. Who knew? Oh, there's more? Oh, who's that? Oh, it's a woman? Martial arts? Oh, man, I know exactly who she is! Huh. I wonder if we get a unique dialogue if we put Zen in our party. I'll have to check that out. Why not? I can go and change our party around. It should be fine. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh, yeah, no kidding. Um, something tells me we're not wrong. <laughs> and Josette's like, who are we talking about? What's going on here? Investigate what boldly shines its artificial light to embolden the night sky, then you shall obtain radiance. Okay. Well, thanks. Let's uh, head on back. Let's see. We have the blue key. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah, we got the blue key heart. So there's a couple blue doors that we can open now that we have that. Um, I'm not going to move on to, like, the next area. I'm pretty much just going to go back and explore various other uh, blue keycard areas, rather than move on to the elevator to the next floor and challenge um, the mystery woman. I'm not going to say who! The mystery woman that Zen has something to do with. Ooh, Grand Slam. Oh. Um, I'm just doing it for my fans. People like me to. Oh. I could do it with a shirt this guy right now. It'd be kind of nice. That tournament invitation um, lets you go back to the... Um, what is it? The um, the tournament thing. Yeah, the tournament invitation brings you back to the tournament. Um, it brings you back to the... Um, to that tournament that Zinn had to fight in. 
and you can find a harder difficulty level there. So I will definitely be doing that, and that will be yet another one of the various doors um, that I'm going to have to be opening, so just keep that in mind. Oh, celestial Bomb. Oh, um, that's kind of nice. Anything else on this floor? Um, there is... Yeah, I'm gonna walk back to it, though. Um, it is rather far over by those elevators, so I could kind of just teleport down to the first floor and make my way over, which I probably honestly should have done, because it would have been probably more efficient, but, nah, who knows. You know what, we got that gun. I probably should check that out to see if that's a gun for Tita or if it's a gun for Josette, since Josette is in my party. Not that she's really helping all that much, although her chain ability was amazing. So let me check that out real quick. Uh, Josette, let's see. Oh, no, so it is a gun for Tita, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, what do we got in here? Oh, more treasure! Oh, wood gem. Oh, um, okay. Now let's head on down to the first... Oh, I don't need to use the key cord again to get down to the first floor. Yeah, all the way back at the entrance um, of this place where we, um... What is it? Used the, um... Or found the, the Iron River, I should say. Wait, did I open up this door earlier? No, I didn't! Oh, no, wrong key card. Um, yeah, there's a green key card there. Um, there's a blue door over there. So oh, wow, that guy really took me by surprise. Ooh, get a gargant arm open. Oh, what do you have to say? Oh, well, thanks. I try. I do go to the gym every single day. But, yeah, that's just me. Okay, so go ahead and give that to Onlace. And we have one last blue keycard door to go and find, and it's over in the very first area that we went to. By the way, that wood um, quartz that we got earlier, that acts as a, an, uh, a level 5 impede. So it gives you a 30% chance of impeding an enemy's arts um, with physical attack or a craft. So, oh, okay. A trial. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I'll be doing that at the end of this chapter. But who awaits us at the top floor of this laboratory? Find out next time on Let's Play The Lend Heroes Chosen Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.